no fear, no distractions. The ability to let that which does not matter truly slide. <sighs> that was a quote from the movie Fight Club. I am here to do the tower reading for the week. I haven't done a tower reading in a while. But I was called to do one today. Um, happy Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so while I was in meditation that quote came very clear okay fight club okay the first rule of fight club is you don't talk about fight club <laughs> if anybody saw that movie okay um, the overall message of the film is about the consumerist society and basically like To what degree do your possessions define you? Okay. And then I was thinking about sisterhood versus friendship. Friend versus foe. Okay. When it when did it become this has to do with some type of dynamic. And kind of like seeing when did it become the two of you individually versus the problem. Okay. Um, you know, when I was thinking about like my former friendships and like kind of reflecting on that and like, you know, like one of those things that I'm healing from that I don't talk about is that like, you know, I looked up to some of these people, like I wanted to emulate some of these people and like all they did was hurt me. Right. Um, I know, I know I was toxic back then, but, you know, like, one thing is to, like, call somebody out, but to, like, publicly, like, what's that word called, like, publicly execute someone, those are two different entire things, okay, um, And then I further reflected on like, you know, what is your character when you're faced with a decision to do the right thing when no one is looking, okay? Basically like your integrity. Um, And I thought about myself, right? Like, you know, I've been pondering, like, you know, like I, I, I'm my authentic self all the time. Like, I'm not going to sit here and like hide my spirituality or hide that I read tarot cards. Um, you know, when I have a hard time, like telling people these things because like they go to like the worst possible train of thought and I get everything from people thinking I'm a witch, people thinking that I do santeria, people thinking that I do voodoo and things like that when I'm literally just a light worker. Like I literally, I'm spiritual. I believe in all religions. I feel like all religions have some facet of like, you know, how the universe came to be, okay? Um, and I don't judge people that do those things that I'm accused of or anything like that because I do believe in them. Um, there's, there's good and bad in everything, you know. And um, it takes courage to be yourself in a world that places value on like what you do for a living and like what you've acquired. Whether that be a degree, whether that be literally like an asset, like a house or a car, like, you know, like society has placed this emphasis, like you're not enough until you do this, these things, right? Um, it takes courage to be the black sheep and it takes courage to do or go against what everyone else is doing. Um... I feel like, you know, everybody wants to talk about being an alpha while being a follower. 
like you, you, you pick a side you can't have it both ways right <sighs> these are really tough topics for me to talk about because i know they hit certain nerves and believe me i've accepted like the fact that i you know serving as a reflection i trigger a lot of people and a lot of people don't vibe or gel with me and i'm kind of accepting being okay with that um those who get it get it those who don't but still choose to understand those are the individuals with power because it takes somebody with an open mind to be like okay i'm different than you but i still accept you okay yeah, <laughs> my channel message was very long today. He was like, literally, I'm in meditation for like five minutes, but like all these thoughts just like whoosh. I gotta like write them down, and sometimes I get into automatic writing. But I hope somebody was able to take something from that, and um, yeah, we'll delve into the reading, see what comes out regarding those channeled messages. Okay, this is for the collective. Nope. Oh. For November 6, 2023, need three cards for the collective. What's in their mind, what's in their heart, and what their spirit message is. What's in the collective's mind? Wow. What's in the collective's heart? What's in the collective's spirit? Okay, clarify. What's in their mind? Clarify what's in their heart. Clarify what's their spirit. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I only disclose facets of myself and I always set these intentions when I um, do the readings because again like I understand my role as a reflection okay so you know I was compelled to share about a little bit about what I'm healing and going through because I know that there's someone out there that needs to hear that message that needs to like know that they're not alone in that thinking process that they're not alone in that self-reflection or that healing journey okay um because a lot of people use tarot and, and this is the story for another day but a lot of people use tarot for more for like affirmation for their own things and they're not using it as a means to kind of like help the collective they're more using it to like for like selfish reasons okay um the themes of like friendship and 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 sisterhood slash brotherhood have been very friend friend versus foe have been very prominent in my head since yesterday and my crown shock was like <laughs> like there's so much like that i'm trying to take in okay but what's in your mind you have the chariot and clarifying that is the page of swords you want forward movement and in cutting into the truth. You have this idea that you want to communicate. This idea, you know, this, this, this truth that you want to relay. And you want to just move forward with this. Um, there's no obstacles in your way. You're taking, you mentally are taking control of the reins. And seven stands for magic, luck, and manifestations, okay? You are taking the control of wanting to move forward with the truth, okay? Crown chakra might be very significant, obviously, because I just brought it up. Monday resonates to the color purple, okay? And we all know that's the color of the crown chakra. Um, in your heart, you have the ten of swords, clarified by the three of cups. There's heartbreak here within your friendships. There's heartbreak here within some type of reunion that you in your emotionally want. Okay. Um, and again, with the whole the three, three of cups also always signifies for me reunion celebrations. Like you see how there's like three girls there. That's a friendship. 
that's a circle circle of friends okay so there's something about like some type of heartbreak ending betrayal within a group of friends within a circle okay um and i and this is why and I, i'm seeing this is why the, the the channeled message and why my personal like own things kind of came through okay um your spirit soul message though which happens to be like your challenge is the nine of wands clarified by the wheel of fortune okay you're guarded okay you are living in your own little bubble right now okay you have one foot in and one foot out okay you want to act on you know you see these heads like you feel like danger 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 like everyone has an agenda or like you know because we do live in a society where like you know we've been kind of forced to kind of be a little selfish but people some people take it to the extreme and i feel like this is you seeing all those egos okay and it's just like you don't know you know you have one foot in one foot out meaning like you're wishy-washy about like wanting to initiate friendships wanting to in initiate relationships you don't quite know what's on the other side of that fence that you built for yourself, okay? Um, you're just very cautious when it comes to meeting new people in new situations. And that is a challenge for you because you want things to turn out in your favor. You want that wheel to turn for you. You want you want change, okay? Ten, you know, you're, you're, you're stepping, you want to step from the nine to the ten, which is a step below a completion to a completion, okay? Your and and with the ten and the three here, that's an ending, okay? So this is these are friendships that ended that you're still kind of like a little bit heartbroken about, and they've kind of like you know seeped into your relationships now. Like whatever friendships you had back then, they're kind of affecting the friendships that you're trying to establish now, okay? Because the bottom of the deck, you're in the Queen of Swords energy. You are on, you know, the, the, you know, the queen of hearts and Alice in Wonderland off with their heads. That that's the type of ish that you're on right now. Like one little red flag. And it's just like, bro, like bye. <laughs> someone factual, um, someone to the truth. You cut into the point, you cut those things off quickly that do not serve your highest good. You are no nonsense. You do not play. You're heavily guarded mentally and as far as like communication wise like you'll tell it like it is now um i feel like for a while your throat chakra was blocked okay um you you felt like you didn't have a voice and now it's like since you've worked on yourself and discovered your voice like you're no nonsense now okay like you it sometimes to the point where you can be a little cutthroat okay and with the queens you're about feeling that that suit okay very logical you, you take even emotional relationships like the way that you look at them now is very logical very methodical very factual you take things at face value now as opposed to like oh i feel like they're a good person no like you know if they're a good person or not based on their actions based on like you don't you don't take words now like you it's about a person's action like you understand that now um yeah you're literally you're literally blocking your own like you know you're blocking yourself to um experiencing you know things turning out in your favor okay you're guarded and you know you need to open up a little bit um you can't live in a bubble for the for the rest of your life like and there's one thing that i was thinking about earlier is just like as i was doing myself reflecting earlier you know is it that you don't trust other people or is it that you don't trust yourself to trust tr that you don't trust yourself enough to determine if people are a right fit or not for you. Now you really got to think it that way. Um, because someone who's healed understands that like 
It's not about blaming the other relationships. It's about your decisions and being involved with certain people that you know weren't for your highest good. Being accountable for your actions, being accountable for letting people into your space that didn't deserve to have that space or didn't deserve to have that title or didn't deserve to have those privileges. Accountability for yourself. And I feel like you know, like, yeah, you're quick to tell it like it is now. Like, you just, you have these little ideas and you just, you, you tell it like it is. Like, you don't second guess yourself anymore. You just communicate. Um... A lot of sword energy here. I feel like you went through like a big transformation within your relationships and your dynamics and yourself. And now it's like, you know, you're scared to let anybody in. You're scared to like be around others. You're scared to like put yourself out there. Um, you don't quite know. Like, I feel like you're still open minded because the wands are here. Um, and you know, even with the nine of wands, it's like I said, you're, it's, it's wishy-washy any energy where it's like one day you're good. And the next day you're like, nah, I'm gonna just retreat into my little show. And one day you're like, oh, I, I, I'll open up a little bit. And then the next, the next minute it's like, nah, I'm gonna hold myself back. It's like you, you are on the fence about that. You're on the fence about letting others in or meeting new people or, or you know, meeting new friends or like being involved in some type of community like you're just like on the f you're sitting on the fence and i feel like with you sitting on the fence that like makes people like think that you're kind of aloof or like that like you're void of emotions or like you're just not friendly but it's it's it more it comes more from like you trying to protect yourself and you more or less like you know like knowing what people are capable of now and like before it was just like you know you were very hopeful you were very loving you were willing to share like you were willing to pour into others um until you experience this heartbreak and betrayal i mean i mean literally you just you got sent overboard quite a few times and not only dropped overboard but like literally like they they went in for the kill like Not only did they, they throw you overboard in shark infested water, they literally wanted you to like, they didn't even want the sharks to, 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 to like take you. Uh, something was, they wanted something to take you. Like, and with the swords, I feel like it was words. It was like actions. It was like, you know, you having to cut people off and like take those swords out of your back and like chuck them back type of thing. And like take those swords and protect yourself. Okay. And guard yourself. Um, all right, let's see what the cards for the spiritual AF cards say. Message for the spiritual AF cards regarding this reading so far. Two cards popped out. We got exhale that bullish and vibrate so high that toxic people fall back because they no longer know how to approach you. Okay, so the first one is ex exhale that bullish. Today, practice the ancient meditation technique of inhaling the good-ish and exhaling the bullish. Think of good-ish, like puppies and pandas and pineapple. Or think of things that don't start with the letter P. Breathe that in like it sparkles. Exhale bullish stuff like anxiety, self-doubt, and resentment. Let it leave your body like dust being cleared out. It works. At the very least, you'll have an idea about what stuff you like and what stuff to dump on your therapist. <laughs> What's so funny is that, like... Right before my meditation, I was thinking about, like, how people used to, like, trauma dump on me. Like, they knew I had a mental health background. And, like, you know, it was never like, oh, hey, how you doing? How's life? And, like, an, an, an even exchange of communication. It was more like, okay, this is what I'm going through. And, like, and then when I would try to say something back, it was like, okay, I got to go. <laughs> like, that's trauma dumping. And, and, you know, I appreciate those people that, like, you know, they know I'm, you know, understand that everybody is going through ish 
and you know like oh you know I don't you know that I always tell this and I'm, I'm, I'm such a big like apologizer and I know it comes because of my complex trauma but like you know I appreciate those people that like you know is it okay if I like vent to you you know what I'm saying like you know, because like when when you make an exchange with someone, even just talking or like even just venting or like just, you know, like you're making an agreement energetically and, and through your auric field to like take in a little bit of that. OK, so it's very important that you follow up on like clearing practices and like cleansing practices. OK, especially if you're a healer of any kind and things like that, because you we and empaths too you guys we take in a lot so i appreciate those people that like you know don't use use me as a personal therapist like i'm a tarot reader but i'm talking about like friends in real life like like friends you know what i'm saying like um i had a few of those friends you know so that's why i'm telling you guys that and then the sec second card is vibrate so high that toxic people fall back because they no longer know how to approach you. Know how you can tell you're onto some hardcore personal growth. Your perspective gets bigger and your inner circle gets smaller. It may be that people who want to gossip quit texting when you stop talking ish. If you're busy manifesting your dreams, keeping your side of the street clean and working on those old gnarly wounds that people want to avoid in themselves, some people are bound to disappear. Be kind to yourself and to others as you outgrow people and places. Yeah. Yeah. And I've and I've had quite a bit of people where like they ask me for advice and then they get mad because like I'm in my healed space and then I call things out for what they are and it's just like, oh my God, you offended me. But you're asking me for my honest opinion. I'm not going to sugarcoat stuff. And I find out too as a tarot reader, like People want to hear all the pretty things, but like don't understand that it takes really deep, dark things to get you to those pretty things, to get you to those happy outcomes. Um, always see the positive and the bad. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is some intense like stuff today. I did not expect to start my week off like this. All right, let's let's pull some cards about what exactly this could entail. Yeah, I you know like I once you stop giving in to like what people normally do, like gossiping, like sleeping around, like drama, like you find that people kind of just like start avoiding you or like keep away from you like oh she doesn't do that anymore yeah i don't do that anymore like i'm not saying i'm holier than thou or anything like that but it's just like you know i've been saying this in a couple of readings like once you you put those glasses on there's rules that come with them and once you are awakened and can see certain things for what they are you don't engage in certain things anymore you just don't um you start wanting better for yourself. You understand that your energy is precious. You understand that your body is a temple. You understand that, like, you, you know, you can't just give everyone access to you anymore. And it's not about, like, being better than anyone. It's just, you know, or, or claiming to be better than anyone or that's too much. Okay, well, I'll keep them. It's a lot, but I mean, today has been a lot. Okay. Ghosting, blocking, ignoring. Yeah. Um, I can see you. Yeah. With the swords and the nine of wands kind of like, you know, probably block, b ghosting, blocking or ignoring, or maybe that's what people are doing to you now. Okay. Because they don't want to deal with you or they don't know how to deal with you or they don't know how to talk to you um 777 seven, seven, magic look manifestations i can see that okay um you know you you're trying to manifest friends you're trying to manifest a, you know a, um a better circle you're trying to manifest relationships okay and the reason why i say that is because bottom of the deck 
is single, okay? I'm dealing, uh, I'm talking to someone who's single or prefers to be single or, you know, they're single, single, meaning you don't have options, meaning that you're not talking to nobody, meaning that you're not sleeping around. You're single, single, okay? Third eye, yeah, because you're, 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 you're getting your, your sight and your vision and you're awakening to certain things. You see things for what they are. You see past the facades. You see past the illusions. You see, see past people's egos, Classy, bougie, materialistic, high maintenance, yeah. And because you have standards now, you know, people are thinking that you're bougie. They're thinking that you're classy or, you know, maybe you dress a certain way. Stalker, stalking, watching, keeping tabs, yeah. Because you're, you're blocking and ghosting people, I can see people probably watching you from afar or like keeping tabs on you from afar because they don't have access to you almost peering like trying to peer through your fence okay car drive road trip highway distance this might be significant maybe you're gonna go on a drive um maybe some type of car is involved um, maybe you live at a distance from someone or you're going to go on some type of road trip. Maybe you do Uber Eats or Lyft or work in some type of automotive industry or, you know, work on cars or something significant here having to do with that. Um, or maybe just the distance between you have distance between you and people literally like energetically physically spiritually there's like a huge divide between you and like who you know you know because some people refuse to grow and you know it's not about beef it's it's sometimes it's more about like just outgrowing people like understanding that you wouldn't do somebody the way that you've been done um I could also see somebody here from your past trying to manifest like being back into your life. Um, or you may be wishing for things to be different. But you are like on this fence about like, you know, have they grown? How, you know, like, are they still the same? Is, you know, should I let them in? You know? Um, should I let bygones be bygones type of thing? Or maybe this is what's coming up for you, okay? Um, and I say that because of the Wheel of Fortune being here, okay? Um, I feel like with the whole thing with the channel messages, I feel like you're a fight it, like you're fighting internally. Like it's a fight within your 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 former self, your ego, your inner child. Um, you're at odds with yourself. Um, you're at odds with like your you know because everybody has inner demons, right? Like you're at odds with yourself and like what you've outgrown and what you've healed from, like you know. And it's like, do I stay in my bubble, or do like I put myself out there? Like, you don't, you, I feel like you have a hard time wanting to be vulnerable and, and dropping down, dropping down that, that guard. You have a hard time doing that. Um, you're like someone who sleeps literally with one eye open, like with everybody and everything, but you have to trust yourself because your third eye is open. Okay. Like trust yourself. Because the wheel of fortune, like, it's here. Like, trust yourself. And I always bring, I always come back to this. Like, use your heart as strength and courage. Don't, don't see it as a weakness. Because when you love yourself fully, you make the right decisions for yourself and for others.
yeah, you can be soft for those who deserve it, but you also got to be firm and stern with those who also deserve that, that treatment, right? You got to like kind of walk that fine line, you know? Um, guys, I hope someone was able to obtain some type of clarity. Um, I'm available for personal readings, parties and events. All my information is within the description box. Um, book me for uh, personal readings on my link tree. Check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box as well. Um, I'll be doing in-person readings at Crystals Unlimited on Sunday the 12th um, here in Stanford, Connecticut. Um, and I'll be giving discounted readings and uh, selling discounted priced items. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye.